Do I have anybody? I've got the somebody who dresses the entire cast. Chris Colfer in the house. How are you, Chris? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing awesome. And uh, so here we are at season two. I'm going to jump right into a fan question before I get into my own because there are tons of them. Uh, one of our fans wants to know, what was it like meeting Betty White? Awesome. Um, angels came out of her sleeves. Um, there was music in the air. Um, it, it was great. She and she was so sweet. Like she's just exactly how you would imagine, just the sweetest, kindest lady. And and uh, actually, her line to me in the Emmys was, "What the hell are you looking at?" And she goes, "Oh, I don't know if I can say that in front of this nice young man." So I was, I just wanted to pick her up and, and squeeze her, hopefully not break her, and take her home. Squeeze her lightly, just a light pat, and, and just bring her home and snuggle. <laughs> and snuggle. I just wanted to snuggle with Betty White. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Let's right. be honest. Right, honestly, right. Betty, the whole world wants to snuggle with you. Next fan question is: If you could be, uh, if you could be any character in a Harry Potter book, which would you be? Oh gosh, um, I would definitely wouldn't be Harry because he goes through way too much. Like I just want to enjoy my time. Maybe, maybe on the Quidditch team. Um, I would love to be one of the Weasley twins. They, they, they seem they just have a good time. They had a laugh, and and uh, one of them dies, don't they? Oh, maybe I shouldn't be one of them. Oh, for that <laughs> one that lives. Yeah, they're the one that survives. That's, I think it's. I don't want. I don't. Oh, I'm upsetting some people right now. I, I, I hopefully just the one that lives. I forget which one. That yeah, no, the one that's the one that survives. And and if you, I think if you join the team uh, as Kurt, you would have to redo the entire uniform oh, of the team. Oh God, so much time and preparation. Oh no, no. I mean, I mean, they'd be like in Gucci caves and and Prada brooms <laughs> and and right. Let me ask you a question because that is that is your character. Your character is so fashionista and locked in. Do you ever get people to come up to you like in broad daylight, perfect strangers, say, "Hey, like, what is? How does this look? What is? What do you think?" Oh, all the time. Usually I get the, oh, you're not like your character, are you? And I show up in t-shirt and jeans. I'm like, no, sorry. So I'm a disappointment. Like, I'm a constant disappointment. That's what it is. You're not a constant disappointment. We love having you and we love Kurt. And, and, and I was just going to ask you, what is this outfit okay with Kurt? What would Kurt say about I this? Wear, I personally would wear this in a heartbeat. Kurt would probably be like, really, Barney? You look like Barney in silver, you know? I, I don't know. I was waiting for that. Yeah, we're probably, no, he'd be very harsh, but I, I go for it. Nice. Good to have you here, Chris. Good luck with everything. Congrats on season two, man. All right, Allison, here we go. Over to you.